went further to say that they went further to say that the, the share A, share B, and share C, where they gave you the risk free rate of return, beta coefficient, also return on the NSC index. So NSC index represents the market. Nairobi Security Exchange Index will be representing the market. The returns for the market must be in form of a percentage. So you express it as a percentage. Like now for all of them are 18.5%. They are meant to be 18.5%. They have given you our ratio, but we must always be able to show it as a percentage. So multiply it by 100% to make it 18.5. So required, they wanted you to interpret the beta coefficient of share A, B, and C. They wanted you to interpret the beta coefficient of share A, B, and C. So in our last class, we had established about the beta factor for the market. The beta factor for the market was meant to be equal to one. So if a security has a beta factor equal to one, it will be able to represent the market security. But if it is higher than one, we talked about aggressive security. If it is less than one, we talked about the defensive security. So let us now see the meaning of those particular. So we start with the beta factor for n. We start off with the beta factor for n. So beta factor for share n, when you check through the question, they were able to give you a figure of 1.34. Zero like that. They are able to give you a value of 1.340. So you want to know the meaning of that element. So when the security has a beta factor of more than one, it means it is more sensitive to the changes in the market. So we shall be able now to express it. So maybe we can summarize that. That's now 1.34. So we note that. This implies that <clears throat> this implies that this implies that if the returns of the market portfolio, it implies that if the returns of the market portfolio, if the returns of the market portfolio change by one unit, if the returns of the market portfolio change by one unit, they change by one unit, then the returns of share A, then the returns of share A, then the returns of share A will change by, then the returns of share A will change by 1.34. We are saying that if the return of the market portfolio change by one unit, then the returns of share A we change by 1.34. We change by 1.34, indicating that, indicating that the returns of share A, indicating that the returns of share A are more sensitive. Indicating that the returns of share A are more sensitive. They are more sensitive to the changes in the market portfolio. The returns of share N are more sensitive to the changes in the market portfolio, are more sensitive to changes in the market portfolio. Hence, hence it is aggressive security. Hence, it is aggressive security. Hence, it is aggressive security. Then now we also check the next one is the theta factor for share B. So for share B, it is given as 1.00. So you can also now interpret that. So for that, we also note that this implies that this implies that if the returns of the market, if the returns of the market portfolio, if the returns of the market portfolio change by one unit, if the returns of the market portfolio change by one unit, they change by one unit, then returns of share B, then the returns of share B would also change by one unit. Then the returns of share B 
will also change by one unit. The returns of share bin will also change by one unit. Therefore, it is the market security. Therefore, it is the market security. Therefore, it is the market security. So apart from that, we now also change, check the beta factor for share C. So share C, it is given as 0 0.75. For share C, it is given as 0 0.75. So after that, we also note that this implies that this implies that if the returns of the market portfolio, this implies that if the returns of the market portfolio change by one unit, if the returns of the market portfolio change by one unit, then the returns of share C, then the returns of share C, then the returns of share C will change by 0 0.75. Then the returns of share C will change by 0 0.75, indicating that, indicating that it is less sensitive, indicating that it is less sensitive to the changes in the market portfolio. It is less sensitive to the changes in the market portfolio. It is less sensitive to the changes in the market portfolio. Therefore, it is a defensive security. 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 So that is now how you are to make the interpretation of those particular beta factor. So that's now the Roma letter one. We now go to the Roma letter two. Roma letter two, apart after interpretation, they also ask that using the capital asset pricing model, compute the expected return for share A, B, and C. They would like you to calculate the expected return for share A, B, and C. So to compute the returns of the share, to get the return for the share, it will be the risk premium, then expected return for the market, minus the risk free rate. You multiply by the beta factor of the security. When you want to come up with the return of the security, will simply be given by risk free rate plus in brackets expected return for the market we also minus the risk free rate but we multiply the beta factor for the security so we start with the returns of m so return for m risk free rate risk free rate under a we can see they gave you 12 percent they have given you 12 percent then expected return for the market, I say is the MSC index, and we show it as a percentage. When you show it as a percentage is 18.5, then you also subtract 12. The beta factor for A is what we have just interpreted, the beta coefficient is 1.34. So this one is 1.34, let's define for that. So, yes. Uh, the way I can let it. Me, I change to like very bad. Would I penalize? You're not be penalized, but it is easier this way than going that wrong procedure. Because, because even this one, you have, yeah. but finally, you must show it as a percentage. Wow. The final you last item, yeah, it must be the form of a percentage. So that means you will bring the ball up and do that. So just write them the way they are, and finally, it means the way I've calculated. Yeah, so that's now for A. The same test for B, we still will be 12, then 18.5 minus 12. So this one will multiply by one. The one for C is still 12, 18.5 minus 12. But this one will multiply by 0 0.75. So you compute them. What is changing is only the beta factor. 
the rest they are not changing. The rest of the details are remain the same. Thank you. 